Nostalgic Nemo asks, counting distinct values in a column based on criteria and two other columns. Okay, so I have a large data set and I want to count the number of distinct values in one of the columns. This column has many duplicates. The formula I use that works is sum, one divided by count if and then repeating the range twice. This is actually an array formula and it's not super user friendly to use. However, I also want to do this based on criteria and two other columns. So basically column A matches X, column B matches Y and whatever is left then count the distinct values there. Now he has tried count ifs and count if, but it doesn't really return an array, so it doesn't really work. Hopefully my description makes sense, any help would be appreciated. So let's help out Nostalgic Nemo. Um, what we're looking to do here is uh, use a combination of a unique and a count a function. So I recreated an example that would match the description that was given in the question. So we have a column with names and then each name has a letter and a number associated with it. What we're looking to do is to return the number of unique names matching a given set of criteria based on these two other columns. So let's give this a try. Uh, so first let's just return uh, all of the unique names. And so for this we have a function called unique. It only requires one argument being an array and it will return a new array only containing unique elements. As such, we get six unique names. Now we want to get the number of unique names. And so for this, we can use the count a function. You might be familiar with a regular count function. A regular count function will count all the numeric values in a range. What the count a function does, it it counts everything. So not only numeric values, but also text values like we have. So we wrap this in a count a function. There we go. And so we get back six. That is indeed the answer uh, to the problem. And this already replaces the formula that was given in the question of like the sum of one divided the count if of the range. Um, so let me give you an example of how that would work. So what he proposed was a sum and then we do one divided by count if and then we supply the range twice as such. And now we press control shift enter to apply an array formula. Yes. And there we go. We also get six. But this, this is very unintuitive. So I would definitely not recommend it. I think my earlier approach that I've shown with the combination of the unique and count a function is a lot more intuitive and easier to understand. Now the problem is that we only want to count unique values if they match given criteria in column B and C in this case. So to accomplish that, we actually want to filter the range where we are doing this counting on. And so we can do that with a filter function. So we wrap this range in a filter function. And then as a second argument, we provide the filters of the rows that we wish to include. So in this case, what do we wish to include? Well, for example, this here, column B, that must match the letter B as such. Now, if we want to provide multiple uh, criteria, then we need to wrap each criteria in between parentheses and multiply each criteria. Now, how this works is this criteria will either return true or false for each row. And so if it's true, that means it's a one. If it's false, it means it's a zero. So if you multiply a zero with another number, you will always get zero. So the criteria and the filter functions act like and. So all of the criteria must be met in order to be included in the returned array. So let's do this once again. We select the range in column C and column C needs to be equal to, let's say number three, just like that. We press enter. And as you can see, we get a result of four. So meaning there are only four unique names that come with a given criteria. Now, in order to make this more clear, let me simply take this filter function and put it somewhere separate so you can see what it actually returns. So if I put it over here, so there you can see it returned five rows. So there were five rows that matched the criteria of being B and three. And of those five results, four were unique. As you can see, Helen is being repeated once. So using a combination of the count A and unique function, we can do a distinct count on our data. And if we want to apply conditions, then we can use a filter function to drill down our data. So it only contains those rows we're actually looking for.